speculation and rumours. If you're not interested, switch it off now. Here we go, back again with another video. And yes, after yesterday's nil-nil draw, decent point against Coventry down at Coventry Building Society Arena. We'll move back and now onto the striker situation. Yes, the lack of strikers at Sunderland, but we are getting closer, apparently on social media, to a new striker. The striker rumours, Mills being gone. I've been sent some information of Brett Gibbs. And on the Sunderland side of things, my source, my source says it's very quiet. Speakman and KLD keeping everything hush-hush with inside the camp. Nothing's being leaked out. But on the Ukrainian side of the situation, there's lots of things coming out, lots of talks going on, lots of noise coming out of their camp. And here are some of the tweets and, and, and messages. So Nazariya Rushin, the deal of the Ukrainian striker from Luhansk, apparently is done. Apparently it's done. Now here's the first message or tweet from social media. I'll put this up for you now to read. So there we go, the player was not in the squad today, not in the squad today, so is that a sign in itself? We'll move on now to the second bit of information. So that's on the EFL news. Now, I don't know how legit that is, but make of it what you want. Right, we'll move on now to the next situation, next bit of information. So there we have Zora Lahansk, the manager of the club, says that Nazarai Russian has now been sold to Sunderland, been sold to Sunderland. It keeps getting better. Let's go into the last bit of information I got to you and you can make up, you can, you can, you can decide yourselves, you know, whether it's all bollocks or whether it's actually true. TV presenter Igor Burbasa said it goes down to the work permit. Work permit. I also heard yesterday apparently that he got some sort of heart problem, this young striker, but it's been passed. So there we go. Watch this space. That is information I've been given by Brett Gibbs, you know, on social media. They're the different platforms on Twitter and all sorts of social media. All the noise coming from the, Ru the, the Ukrainian side, Russian side, you know, the Ukrainian side. So there we have it. Apparently, he's signed, but we won't know until actually the club actually announces this and we won't know that for a couple of days probably. So there we go. Hopefully, we've signed this young lad, 24-year-old striker. I give the information to you. You can make up with what you want. You know, you can believe it. You can digest it. You can spit it out. You can, you know, you can, you can, you can basically believe it and it's up to you. I just pass on the rumours. I make a video on it, you know, I keep the subscribers up to date. Some people don't like these kind of videos. Some people love these type of videos. It's entirely up to you. So there we have it. So have we signed them or not? Leave your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts down below. And I'm off now for me three to four mile. I've had a run this morning, going for a walk now. Then I might have a can tonight. Yes, chilling out, watching a movie. Take care, God bless. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy your bank holiday Monday tomorrow. Hopefully we'll wake up with a new striker. Take care, we'll see you later, thanks. And one final bit of information. One more last message, here we go. The manager of Russian the manager of Russian, yeah, the manager of Russian. I get myself all tangled up with these words. It's, it's Nazari, Nazari, Russian. The manager says he's sold. He's sold. Why would the manager come out and say that? Unless somebody's made it up, I don't know. But there we go. You can, you can, you know, you can be an investigative journalist yourself. Get yourself out there on social media. Do a bit of digging and let me know in the comments down below. Is it true? Have we got this young lad finally in the bag? Or is it just people making up a load of shite? There we go. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you later. Thank you.